What can small businesses learn from entrepreneurial organizations? That's the subject of today's edition of Inside AB. I'm Jeremy Lawrence, joined here in the studio by Tariq Hamdiani. Okay, Tariq, welcome here. Thank Before you. we get into the subject of who you represent, entrepreneur organization, tell us firstly about yourself and your own business. So I moved to Dubai 2001. I worked for a big multinational. Five years later, I left, started the business that failed. A year later, I started a second business, and that's what I've been doing for 10 years, and that's uh, armored vehicles manufacturing. Wow. Was that anything to do with the first business? Or Absolutely nothing. Randomly? I was a brand manager for a coffee brand, and now I build uh, bulletproof vehicles. Okay, fair enough. So you're uh, part of the entrepreneur organization Correct. Dubai chapter, uh, UAE chapter, sorry. Tell us about that organization and how you came to be involved with it. So EO is a uh, global network of uh, entrepreneurs. Uh, we're around 13,000 entrepreneurs. Mm. Uh, we have chapters in over 180 cities, uh, 53 countries. Uh, the Dubai chapter or the UAE chapter is uh, now we're reaching almost 100 members. Mm. Uh, it's a network of uh, entrepreneurs that we regularly meet and the main purpose is grow and learn through peer-to-peer -peer learning and through events that we do for, uh, for entrepreneurs. Right. Before we talk about the benefits of that, what do you need to be in terms of a business owner to qualify for EO? So you need to be the founder, the owner of a business. You need to have a revenue over $1 million. That's it, basically, and then you apply, and then there are a series of questions and interviews, and once you pass that, you'll be a member. Okay, and what sort of events do you do, and what sort of people do you bring over to, to, to give learnings to these small business owners? So that varies. Uh, it always starts with business. It always ends up with personal growth and family growth. Uh, and I'll give you an example. This weekend, we have a big event. We're bringing four professors from Silicon Valley. Uh, we're gonna talk about exponential growth. We're gonna talk about AI. We're gonna talk about cryptocurrency and how the future is gonna look like. What will it do for entrepreneurs? Uh, we see what the future is gonna look like and we see how we can implement that to our business today so that we stay leaders for the future. Right, okay. So let's get into some specifics because that's what we're talking about today, how being part of a network can really accelerate your progress as an entrepreneur or as a business owner. Can you tell us about some of the specific things that you've learned or you've seen others learn through your organization and ones like this? Well, it's always great to learn from your mistakes, but it's cheaper and faster when you learn from someone else's mistakes. Right. Uh, when you're an owner of a business, we say it's lonely on the top. What we do at EO, we have something called the forum where every month you meet with your mini board and those are uh, similar entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. uh, we sit together a month in a uh, closed environment. Uh, confidentiality is top priority and we talk about the issues that we face. Mm -hmm. And it's so interesting how we all face the same issues, but just by experience sharing and not giving advice, uh, that gives you ideas how to come out of your struggle that you're facing without really doing the big mistakes that you usually do. Right. Have you seen uh, small businesses grow substantially as a, as a result of these, these networks? Oh, absolutely. I mean, my, my business. I was growing uh, organically for a long period and then I joined you three or four years ago and, and uh, 5x is the growth that I've had uh, so wow. far just after joining. And a uh, lot of elements that, the, that, that helped with that, but EO was, was one of the major factors or one of the major catalysts. Okay, what's one of the biggest things you learned personally? Never give advice, always listen, right. and always talk from experience. Okay, okay. Um, so can you tell us about, for any other entrepreneurs, if, if they want to learn and they don't qualify for EO, what you recommend them to do? So we have a program called Accelerator. So anyone who has a revenue of $250,000 and they want to hit that $1 million, mm. they can join the, Acceler join the Accelerator program where uh, they will be coached mm. uh, through, uh, through a similar to a forum kind of meeting every, every month and they will be coached to reach that with EO members. And once they reach that, they automatically become members. Great. Finally, one other question. What's one of the things that you've learned about the future? You mentioned earlier about AI and these new technologies. Is there anything that you predict has been a big trend for 2019 and beyond that, that businesses and entrepreneurs should be thinking about? Well, the, uh, the training that we're doing starts tomorrow and I'm really looking forward to, uh, to, to find what that's gonna be. And uh, hopefully in two days, I can have a better answer for the, than now. But for now, I'm, I'm really excited about finding out tomorrow. Great. All right. Well, you'll have to come back and tell us about it. <laughs> awesome. Okay, Terry, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. You've been watching Inside AB. That's the power of networks and what entrepreneurs can learn from being part of an organization. So thank you for joining. Let us know what you think. Subscribe, comment, and share as usual, and we'll see you next time. Bye.